Macros now have a timer function which also allows us to uh, to extract the current date and time. So it can be used to time calculations or to extract the current date and time and put any of the resulting uh, numbers into variables. So what I've got on the screen is uh, a part and I want to time uh, how long it takes to calculate a toolpath on it. So I'm going to open up my macro in debug mode. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is create an integer variable uh, equal to the current system time. So this is the current system time in seconds. Okay, so here you can see it's a very large number because it just always goes up and up and up. Okay, so uh, then I'm going to calculate the toolpath. So this is not realistic at the moment because we're we're executing one line at a time. So uh, that once that timer starts, then it's from the time I click it starts timing. So we'll just calculate this toolpath. I think it takes about 25 seconds on my PC. Uh, and then I've got uh, another integer dollar calculation time. So this is going to store the total calculation time and it's going to equal the current time minus the start time. So uh, between mouse clicks that took 42 seconds as we can see on the top right. Uh, now I'm going to create a couple of strings, one dollar date uh, and I want to extract the date. So using the uh, time functions I've got this local time uh, I can use UTC time as well for world time, but local time should give you the local time, uh, w whatever uh, time that your computer is set at, whether it be Greenwich Mean Time or, or wherever you are in the world. Uh, and then I've got uh, basically parameters. So I've got the day parameter, the month parameter, and the year parameter. So I'm going to separate those with slashes. I'm just going to add them into a single string variable. Uh, and then I'll pop up a message box uh, just to show so the toolpath calculation time is equal to 42 seconds calculation started on this date on at this uh, at this time on this date so let's get rid of that and let's see how fast my PC really is by actually running the macro so we've invalidated the toolpath and I'm going to calculate that toolpath again And there we can see it actually took 16 seconds on this PC. Um, and yes, there's the uh, the time, 9 minutes past 11 on the 12th of June. So quite useful functions and they, those uh, dates and times and timers can be used uh, for anything that you want really within the macro.